last week on the season. Jack Probst, that dude is, he's, he's something special. I, I mean, I, I don't know an instrument that he can't play. He's, he's super talented. Hey, get this on camera. Tell people I'm smoother than you. What's up? You? Way smoother than you. I gotta take care of my home state, man. Forget Alabama. We in the sip, man. Let's take care of business. Full ass effort. We know how to do it now. Let's go do it. Here's Plumley straight ahead. Now they had 11, and he beat all 11 of them. John Rice Plumley to the outside and brought down by a shoelace. It's a 35 yard sprint. They do. He goes into the end zone for a touchdown. A six yard strike to Elijah Moore. We've everything you got on this field right now. Fake to Ely, Corral keeps it, and he walks in untouched, just like Nick's on the other end. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Football is built around trust. And for Momo Sonogo, Jaquez Jones, and Lakia Henry, the trust is undeniable. We've been here for so long, and we've got guys that have a lot of experience, so we're able to hold each other accountable, and we have a lot of respect for each other. Hey, it's gotta be four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, can you talk about shoe? I really can't, I got a club. I say the linebacker group we got now is really tight. We're really tight. We clown, we joke out, we grill a lot. We grill a lot of food. Hey, it's good. I got faith in my cooking. I got faith, look, look at that, look at that. I got faith in my cooking, it's soaking. It's soaking, that's a quail soak, that's what I call it. But I can cook though. As, as, as Tyreek is Tisdale, that's my room I cook for. I don't know coming. I don't, I don't <laughs> he tried to cook, I'm trying to think what he cooked. Some chicken, I mean, it was, it was okay, but you can tell it, nah, nah, Momo, Momo can't compete. Look at that. Look at that state, look, look how tender it is. We just hang out, chill, get to know each other, man. We a really tight-knit group, I say. They my brothers, man, really. Hey, check out my boy Zero, man. Zero, I mean, both got new numbers, man. Hey, new numbers, same mission, let's get it. You know how we rock it, man. So what is that, where's the interception coming? Oh, Next half. Next half, yeah, Next half. All right. We got two quarters to get it done, let's do it. No snacks for you? Oh, no snacks, man. Ready to go. Ready for this team here, man. I don't need no snacks. All I need is water. Old school right there. Oh, yeah, old school linebacker, man. Their demeanor off the field might be fun and playful, but these three don't leave opponents anything to smile about. You know, you really got a bunch of guys over there that just have a nose for the football. Jacquez Jones is punishing people out there. He's not just tackling. Blocked down by Jacquez Jones. Jacquez Jones had it read the entire way. It's a loss of six. 15, 20. Oh, wow. He is clobbered. Jones delivers hits. Oh, in the pocket in trouble. He's sacked back at the 29-yard line by Lakia Henry. Avoiding the sack and then now hit fumble right on the sidelines rebels think they pick it up lakia did not give up he kept fighting hitting and the ball came out what a stick by the rebels and lakia henry the senior from vidalia georgia here's a handoff up the gut nothing there wow it's boyd and he is grabbed instantly by lakia henry here comes a blitz up the middle they're going to hit him and sack him at the 40 yard line Straight up the gut came Sonogo, and that time it paid off for the Rebel. Here comes the blitz. He's in the pocket. He's in trouble. He's sacked back at the 47-yard line. It's Momo Sonogo came off the left side. The, the linebackers are really the quarterbacks of the defense, and so we have experienced guys that, that understand the game, have played a lot of football. You know, it is a great luxury to have to say, okay, I, I think we, I think we can handle a, a couple of these things because, you know. You want to ha have enough, you still want to be able to do enough, and so it's how much can they handle, and that, that's been you know very good for us in that room to have experienced guys. And they lining guys up, you're making adjustments, you getting the calls from the sideline, 
all of a sudden they become the coach. They are the, the head coach, the quarterback, uh, the, the running the defense. Got to have guys on the field that can communicate and make sure we're getting the right call and getting everyone on the same page. And so, you know, naturally that, that communication comes from the linebackers most of the time. They're, they're in the center of it all. And so, you know, again, to have guys that, that can handle that, have experience, and, and you can count on to do that makes a big difference. So they pick up on little things like maybe it's your eyes that that is a is a tip off for the defense. They're gonna pick up it that day on practice and let you know at the end of the day, hey, look, this is what you're doing. They want to help the team. You know, just like if I can tip off something that they're doing, we're gonna I'm gonna help them at the same way. But to to have to get to go against those kind of caliber guys every day really, really makes you better. Just because you can kind of give them the foundation, give them the standard, and they make sure it, it stays consistent because they know what it has. It, it's awesome to have a consistent leadership. You always look for that. With, with having guys with experience where, where you feel like hey, we can do that. We can go on the sideline in between a series and say, okay, listen, let's change this up. Let's do it this way and not have that be a major deal where it's like, I don't know if we can do that. I, I, think, I think that's where you can really gain the most from guys with experience. We want to win and we want to do what it takes to win. So we're going to do everything we can, spend the extra time, whatever it takes, make any sacrifices we can to get as many wins as we can. With every new coaching staff comes change. Change in philosophy, change in attitude, and for some players, a change in position. Receiver left on third and 20. There's the snap. Nick's near side. The pass is going to be tipped up in the air again and incomplete. And the Rebels get the stop as Miles Battle moved over to defense. Looked like he's the one who went up and batted that ball away. We're trying to beat Auburn in a huge game, big program win for us. And you know, they were driving down and we got two players that were on offense last week, you know, trying to get calls or trying to yell from the sidelines to tell them what to do. You know, but that's the situation we're in. I thought they did a great job, you know, for a little amount of time and, and it's hard, think how hard that is. Even after his big play against the Tigers, sophomore Miles Battle is still learning his way around. Yes, sir. Where we at? Uh, on the ops today. Get them all for you. Make it move. Uh, they blocking us, right? Here. Put your hand on them. Get them off of you. Get them off of you. Not this side. Bill Riley. Get them off of you. You get them here. You get them here. You don't sit up right there. You should be here. For the. Yeah, extend. Get them off of you. Use your arm. Hey, if you're not over 6'1, I don't know if you can do this. Keep going, keep going. Okay, you go stand the arm, stand the arm. Hey, I played defense one day. Came back with scars I didn't even know I had. How is it over there though? I ain't, you know, I ain't been over there in about two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot more quiet now that you're quiet. gone. You know, because you bring a lot of. Um, I don't know if you call it, what to call it. Please don't do that. He's over here with me. <laughs> But he's not filming me, he's filming the quarterback. I just came over here to get camera time with y'all. You got the camera all up on you. No. That's for you. Ready, him up. Than the last week, right? You ended up when you when you went, you put the hand right ahead. Now go. And you ended up where here. Don't panic though. You can freaking run. You hear run. Huh? Yeah. Let's go. You no, know, we got guys back full force, so now you gotta earn. You gotta earn some stuff. Reps are a freaking premium around here. You better take advantage of it, right? Take advantage of it. And you can't be soft like that. When we're doing stuff, bow up, right? FBI on three and Relentless F on six. One, two, three. FBI, FBI four, five, six. Relentless F. All right, everybody. That's a wrap for Tuesday practice. 
You might ask questions about my hair. Why I got blonde on one side, black the other. Just like my hair, I got two sides. How did you feel to make that big play there uh, on third down? I was juiced. Uh, no, I, like I said, I ain't played defense since my sophomore year in high school, and going out there and making that play was just exciting. I really haven't played defense since my freshman, sophomore year in high school, um, but playing receiver and being athletic, I was just, Coach Buck's been trying to get me to play defense for a little while now, and when uh, the opportunity presented itself, I just jumped at it, and it wasn't that hard to transition. I mean, I'm still learning some of the, the defensive calls and everything, but being a receiver, it's kind of, that's probably the best position to switch from to play corner. You know, like, like you said, I came here as a receiver, but everything happens for a reason, I, I feel like, and uh, I just walk by faith, not by sight. So this is the path that I guess was presented for me. Great day for some football here in Nashville, Tennessee, as the Commodores and the Rebels get ready to do some business in the Music City. Yeah, you know, they, they call me uh, Jason where I'm from. You know, I'm from Tennessee, so, you know, I'm, I'm down here to cause problems, a lot of them. Oh, Friday the 13th. You can run, but you can't hide. You come. Machete and all. Try to hide in the house, hide in the garage, hide in the car. You, matter, matter of fact, you drive away, takes a chance, so I'm going to pop up in the car. You can't escape us. While the Ole Miss defenders devised their Halloween plans, the Rebel offense got the first opportunity to prove just how scary good they can be. A second down, and here go the Rebels. Far side of the field, that'll be good enough for a first down. That one goes to Elijah Moore, who comes in with 47 catches, leads the conference in receptions and yards, fifth in the country in receptions, sixth in yards. Snoop Connor is now in the back here for Ole Miss. The handoff to Snoop, and he takes it in easy for the touchdown. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And how about that drive right out of the gates for the Ole Miss Rebels? Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Corral fires, has his man caught at the 35-yard line to the 40. Wow, what a dart by Matt Corral. Big play for the Rebels. Yeah, you're talking about a mix of run, mix of pass. They stretch your horizontally. They hit you down the seams. I mean, what tempo is what their offense is predicated on. Pass caught by Mingo, and he falls inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line. Lob into the end zone. Caught by Yaboa. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Fifth touchdown reception for the transfer from Temple, Kenny Yaboa. TD, TD. Yes, sir. I love TD, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Corral has time to throw, lost it up, going for the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. Lane Kiffin's explosive offense set a blistering pace early on. But the red and blue defenders took their turn haunting the Commodores as well. Seals under pressure and dropped. Lakia Henry off the backside. Hey, I told you that exact situation will happen. So, and you showed up. You know. Coming near side is Keon Henry Brooks. And he got back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Things that go bump in the night. A spooky, scary fright. Throwing for the eighth time here, and the streak stays intact, and this one may go to the end zone, and does! Touchdown! Vanderbilt! Despite the salty play of the Rebel defense, the homestanding Commodores had finally found pay dirt. Elijah Moore would return their trick with a treat of his own. Quick pass to the hitch man, or to the slot man, that's Elijah Moore. Here comes the blitz, he's looking to throw. 
Lobs it down the field. He's got Elijah Moore, the 10, wide open, caught and tackled at the five. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Moore goes in motion. The pitch is to Moore. He's headed to the far side. Punches it in, untouched, touchdown, Ole Miss. The Rebel offense was not just on track. It was about to find uncharted waters. Now he's going to fake the handoff, quick pass near side, Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore with a stiff arm, going to get across the 25 to the 26. Corral trying to tie the school record if he can complete this pass, and he does, and he just tied Eli Manning with his 18th consecutive completion. Quick pass far side, that breaks the school record as Mingo makes another grab. He's 19 for 19. Didn't realize we'd see a Matt Corral setting a record today, but we have. Rebels at the Vanderbilt 28-yard line here in Nashville. Pump fake, he looks. Going to lob it near side. He's got more again. Moore catches it at the two, takes it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. They come back and play this inside technique and runs the inside fade and Corral lays it to him perfectly for another big time touchdown. That drive, 11 plays, 88 yards in three minutes and 55 seconds, 28 yard pass to Elijah Moore. Moore has 11 catches, 218 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. He had 200 yards in the season opener against the Florida Gators, and he's already got 218 in two quarters against uh, Vanderbilt. Listen up, let's go. Hey, we can play a lot better. Don't worry about the scoreboard, but go out there with some juice, man, and take it to them. When we get out there, it's 0 0. It's 0 0, new game. Suffocate them, and let's get off the field today feeling damn good. Let's go, y'all. Let's keep the gas on. Let's get it. Come on. With a clear path to victory in sight, the Commodores would need a bigger boat in order to survive the jaws of the Land Shark defense. Little screen set up and caught at the 43, and Cam Johnson is hammered. It's just been, really since their opening play, it's just been a, a show by this Rebel team. By the way, Elijah Moore just needs uh, 11 yards to break A.J. Brown's record for receiving yards in a game. Twin receivers left and right here. Ely, the long back, fake to Ely, and a quick pass, diving effort, caught at the 45-yard line by who else? Elijah Moore now has put together one of those afternoons that uh, you will never forget. It will be stamped in a record book for a long time, 14 for 238. There would be no thriller in the Music City as Matt Corral's spooktacular day continued to haunt the host. Pass is caught inside the 15-yard line by Jonathan Mingo. Corral to the end zone, wide open and dropped. Or did he, he caught it. Oh my goodness, couldn't see it. Until the ball dropped out of his hands, but touchdown for the Rebels. As Ole Miss has scored a touchdown on every possession except for the one at the end of the half, so six of seven drives for TDs. And here's the kick by Luke Logan. And that's going to be taken at the goal line and will be returned to the 15 to the 20 and hammered and dropped at the 24. Ball came the loose. Line. The ball's out. Did they say it's a fumble? Well, we're Ole Miss certainly see. thinks it is. Rebels are celebrating like they've got it. We're waiting for an official call. The only on the field is the ball carrier down. It'll be first down Vanderbilt. That's a fumble, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a fumble. That's a fumble. It's out. That's us. After Here's further review, the ball carrier fumbled the ball, and it was recovered by Ole Miss. Ah! 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 You told him, hey, you told him before, baby. Come on, you told him. Hell yeah. Halloween, he's going to get the dog. We finally found a plan to have a complete team, and it feel good. You know you're having a good day when it's hard to keep up with the records that are being shattered. Corral looking that way, but we'll go to the right side and throws a bullet right between a couple defenders. Touchdown. That is Kenny Yaboa with his second touchdown grab of the game. Matt Corral has tied Eli Manning in a single game for touchdowns with six. Hey, Bo, we like this. We like this. Tune in. We still fight. This ain't no win. No matter what the score is, we still gonna go.
With all phases of the game working hand in hand, Coach Kiffin's crew would close out the haunted holiday by finishing the fight with one more nail in the Vandy coffin. Overshoots it and is picked off by Ole Miss. That's A.J. Finley. A pick for A.J. Finley, his second interception of the season. And the clock running, and that should be it. Happy Rebels here as Ole Miss is going to win over Vanderbilt. As the clock goes to all zeros, 54-21. Man, it feels good. Can't take this for granted. You gotta take it week by week. Got an op, got an open date. Get ready to work. Got South Carolina next. Hey, it feels wonderful. Feel good to be back on track. You know, go out here, do try to do it again next week. Second one of the year. We looking for more to come. Just start the streak. We just got the W. We're gonna do this by week. And we're gonna come in to South Carolina at home with our fans. And we're gonna get the dub. And we start from here. Today we started here today. The street going to continue. Great birthday present. Two touchdowns. I can't ask for none more. And the dub. And we got the dub. Let's go. Let's go. Body time. Hey, hip, hip, hooray. Hey, tomorrow my birthday. You know, we finna tunnel. Good birthday win. Yeah. Hey, you know how we Scorpio. get out, bad boy guys. Yeah, you see yes, me? sir. All our bad boy guys. Yeah. 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 Hey, I ain't that fat though, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I got a flat stomach. I mean, he was just being himself. He just do what he do. We do that every day at practice. So, you know, it really wasn't done for us to see. It was for the world to see, because he do that every day. I call him sure hand he, and he don't drop nothing. You guys responded really well. Look at Texas A&M, 17 to 12 or whatever versus that team. So it's an SEC game. You guys played really well, went out in the second half. Finished them off all right, got some turnovers, but great wins, some really cool stuff, turnovers, a lot of records, all that stuff, but bottom line is went 1-0. All right, that's all we could do is go 1-0. Take care of yourselves on the bye week, be smart, yep. protect your team, good decisions, be all right, smart. okay? It feels good, you know, and I, all because of him right there. Good job. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream! Feel great. It was a great win. You know, we finally placed complete team, offense, defense, special teams. Hell of a win. Hell of a game.